Hey everybody, welcome back to the Armory today. Uh, I wanted to show you a couple things. This is a 308. 762 by 51 NATO. This is one of my favorite to shoot. This is 762 by 54R. And uh, no secret, I'm uh, a Mosin shooter. I really like Mosins. And I shoot 7.62x54R. I also shoot a 338 Lapua Magnum. This is a really fun gun to shoot. And I wanted to show you. I've had this gun for a year. It's basically broken in. Uh, haven't had a lot of shooting with it. But I really love this rifle. So let me show you this rifle. This is an entry-level Ruger Precision Rifle. Uh, these go for about $2,000. Uh, it's a bolt action. They range from uh, 338 Lapua, 300 Winchester Magnum, 308, um, and 65 Creedmoor, I believe. And this is a really nice rifle for the money. And I wanted to go over a few things about it. First off, it's a full aluminum chassis construction, which is really nice. It also allows for uh, magazine feeding. Comes with two five-round magazines from the factory. It's uh, got a fully adjustable stock for comb height, for length of pull. Comes with an integrated rail. And it's very much a very nice shooting rifle. And when I bought it, I was not uh, uh, too keen on the muzzle brake on it. But this muzzle brake actually works really, really well. So I've got, oh, probably about 50 rounds into it. And uh, it's a fantastic rifle to shoot. Very much fun. A <clears throat> couple of things... Uh, trigger has an integrated safety in the trigger, which is a nice touch, but I gotta say I'm not terribly sold on the trigger. I know there's trigger upgrades for these rifles. Um, this one may or may not get a trigger upgrade. I don't know. Um, with my, uh, smaller 30 caliber rifles, um, we shoot, uh, out of the range uh, two, three, and six hundred yards. This one barely gets its feet wet at six hundred yards. This is a very long range, uh, very fun gun. Now, it's a bolt action, very simple bolt action, but there's something I really don't like about the bolt, and I really haven't found uh, anything to fix it. This is the bolt, good heavy tri lug bolt. Uh, but this is a little tool compartment. Now, I don't mind it. Uh, it's kind of handy to have a little tool compartment. Yeah, it caps a little stuck. Uh, but uh, it's an interesting concept to have a little tool compartment uh, integrated with the rifle, but uh, what I found is while shooting it, uh, it falls off. So under the recoil of the gun, it uh, seems to not want to stay in place. But if that's the only problem I'm going to have with this, I think it's very much uh, easy to live with. Now, uh, the scope that was on this is now on my Remington. I'm going to have to get a new scope for it, but if you guys have seen these or you're in the market for a good, uh, very good quality uh, long-range shooter, this is a fantastic entry into that market, and the price is really unbeatable for what you get. Pretty much out of the box, 
This is a fantastic setup. Uh, so, I just wanted to show you guys this. Uh, I'm hoping to get this out on the range a lot more this year, but uh, if you can imagine, feeding one of these is not cheap. Uh, locally, ammunition is about $6 a round. As always, I do save my brass uh, religiously, but aside from brass, I don't believe I have anything else compatible with reloading. I don't believe I have the correct powders, uh, correct magnum primers, stuff like that. So uh, reloading is going to be a uh, down the road thing for this, and currently ammunition's pretty pricey. So. Uh, I just thought I'd make a video going over this. Um, and like I said, if you guys are in the market for uh, an entry level uh, long range rifle, these are a fantastic platform. Really, really happy with it. Um, and it's a really good investment. So, well, I thought I'd make this quick video for you guys. Uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.